Low Energy Mode Apple Watch. Which one? When? Gosh? Ou FF? Croix? Voilà. Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to activate low energy mode on the Apple Watch Series 5, 6, 7 or higher. Actually low power reserve mode already exists by default, but it will disable all features of your watch. Let me show you how it works. If you tap on the battery percentage, you can swipe to the right and go into power reserve mode. But unfortunately this will disable all features your Apple Watch offers. I have a better idea. I created my own custom shortcut. Here it is, low energy mode. If you tap on it, it will ask you on or off. It will dim my display. Actually the idea behind the shortcut is very simple. Basically it just disables always on display. And by doing that it will save a lot of energy and I'm still keeping all the essential features of my Apple Watch on, like heart rate, monitoring, notifications and so on. By disabling the always on display I will be able to survive with my Apple Watch until the end of the day. As you can see I have only 14% of battery life on. So it will be difficult to end my day without charging it if I want to keep always on display on. But what if you want to keep always on display on? I like this feature and I want to use it, so disabling it will make me sad. How to get the best battery life from your Apple Watch and still keep the display on all the time? And here comes my second tip. Go to settings, brightness and display and disable all activations. Disable all toggles here and especially the first one, wake on wrist raise. Let me explain you why. I'm checking time quite often on my watch and by raising my wrist it activates my screen at the maximum brightness maybe around 100 times per day. I'm just kidding. But the always on display has enough brightness to read the time even without activating the full brightness level. And by keeping it off it will save a lot of battery life. If I need to use my Apple Watch, I can simply touch the screen with my finger and it will activate the display at full brightness. How to know if you will survive until the end of the day with the always on display on? Actually I have an app on my watch that will predict my battery life usage based on my habits and based on the percentage of battery life left. You see it says charge before 9.22pm today. I will probably will be able to use my Apple Watch until 9.22 pm today before charging it. Third very important tip, go to general, app background refresh and make sure to disable all apps from here or keep only the most important apps for you. If you want to install my shortcut, I will leave it in the description of this video. Well, you can also disable the heart rate sensor, blood oxygen measuring, put your Apple Watch screen in the grayscale mode, disable animations, turn off environmental sound tracking, customize iPhone mirroring, activate workout power saving mode, turn off Siri, disable haptic engine, turn off the sound, but in this case it's better not to wear your Apple Watch at all, because I don't see a reason of disabling all features and still wearing an Apple Watch. If you will disable everything you just don't need an Apple Watch, and if you don't have an Apple Watch, you don't have a problem with battery life on it, so it's the best tip I can give you. I have a lot of custom shortcuts for the Apple Watch and iPhone, like this AirPods menu. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give a like to this video. Don't forget to check other videos on my channel as well. Thanks for watching, have a nice day. See you later on YouTube. Bye bye. Low energy mode on. Je suis désolé. Low energy mode on. Je suis désolé. Low energy mode Apple Watch.